even tell you guys how good it feels to be on a road trip after lockdown. First of all, any road trip around Mallorca is really magical. Oh wow. And there's incredible fincas everywhere. I love road tripping around Mallorca and I feel like I appreciate it even more coming out of lockdown and not being on the road in months. So yeah, this is awesome. So we're actually gonna go explore Santanyi, which is on the east of Mallorca. But first we stopped at this amazing tile store and these tiles are handmade from Mallorca. Absolutely stunning. Right in here behind me guys, that is where all the tile making magic happens. How incredible is all of this? So amazing. There is a ridiculous amount of tiles and different designs. This is absolutely amazing. They definitely have a lot of options. This is incredible. I never would have thought that they had this many options. Wow. We've officially arrived in Santanyi and we're just taking a little walk around, checking out the sights in case you're wondering where my mask is. You only have to put your mask on when you're going indoors, when you're outside and social distancing, you don't have to wear it. So I just take it off so I can talk to you guys and get some fresh air. And then when we go inside, you put it back on because we're gonna go sit on a terrace and have a beverage and you can't drink a beverage when you're wearing a mask. So I have not been to this town in years, so I'm super excited. seen more amazing local truffle products in my life. All truffle products from Mallorca. There's like so much variety in here. Interesting fact, the truffles in that truffle shop are actually black truffles. They don't have gray truffles in Mallorca or Spain. It's mainly black truffles. So that is something new that I learned. And now I know where to go when I want virtually any product with truffle in it. They even had truffle candies, like literally truffle everything. We just came to the most beautiful little restaurant for a quick coffee. Um, I'm having a nice iced coffee. I just put my coffee in some ice and I actually like had to pour it on there because it was a bit difficult, but yeah. We were not sure where we were gonna eat lunch. We thought we were just gonna have a quick like drink and a coffee here, but we're hungry and then we're gonna go to the beach and it's so beautiful. As you can see, like this little terrace is amazing. So we figured we're just gonna eat here and uh, we've got a menu del dia, so it's three courses. That's the cheapest way to go if you wanna have a big meal and have a few different courses. So it's a set menu, you get to pick what you want and you get a free beverage. Well, no, it's not free, you're paying for it in the price of the menu del dia, but there's a beverage included. So a glass of wine, a little bit of bread and aioli. Life's good, guys. This is fresh, fresh homemade aioli. It's beautiful. This bread is so fresh. I'm gonna say, holy, is so fresh. It is amazing. Mm. The bread is like crunchy on the outside, moist on the inside, and that aioli is just incredible, guys. The salad looks incredible. It's a goat cheese salad. It is so, so divine. Mmm. Wow. That is so amazing. And so fresh for the summer. Yeah. It's like the perfect salad for the day. We're now going for a little waddle through town. And I say waddle because <laughs> we definitely ate a lot. How are you feeling? How are you feeling after oh, lunch? Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, uh, very full. full. <laughs> very, very, very full. Definitely, that was a lot. Oh, face masks on. We're going in, guys. We're going yeah, in. Yeah, this is Ooh, this is shop. nice. Pottery, ceramics. 
very very nice the problem is i have really small ears so those are probably a mistake there we go So the town is actually really quiet right now for a couple reasons. It's only locals and it's de-escalation, so there's truly not a lot of people. Plus, I also think it's siesta, so there's that break in the afternoon, everything closes, then opens back up again. It's interesting to see it like this. Tomorrow is market day, so we're thinking these barriers were set up so that all the markets can be open and that they can still have their market, which is very, very cool. The markets in Majorca are amazing. We're about to turn on the air conditioning and it's going to be amazing. Oh. Air conditioning, that is so good. Right beyond these bushes over there by that white structure is the blue water. Take the scenic route. Yes, we took the scenic route, went for a little hike, but I love how the contrast of like this murky looking water here and then when you look straight ahead which you can't see behind these bushes but there is the blue blue beautiful water it feels so good to be back at the beach my first time on the beach since lockdown and i love this beach we came to mondrago which is one of my favorite beaches you can hike on either side the water is super blue as you can see and since there's no tourists on the island because the borders open until July 1st, it is the quietest and most tranquil I've ever seen the beach. Like beaches in Majorca are not like this in the summer, in the spring, almost any time. They're never like this, so it's pretty cool. First swim in the sea post lockdown. I wanted to take you guys with me, but I don't have a waterproof camera. And I didn't feel it was safe to leave my camera like just sitting on the beach recording. So I didn't take you guys in with me. But let me tell you, that was amazing like because it's post lockdown and life's been so crazy it was like the best swim of my life yeah i feel super invigorated and just so grounded how was, was your swim uh, it was amazing wasn't it like so soothing and she's the one who said patrina we have to go to the beach today because it's gonna be and you have to terrible put your head soul. under and she did say i wasn't gonna put my head under because i just washed my hair before i came here so she i was does. like gonna pin it and then she she made a good point and then once i don't wonder i was like what am i thinking just have salty hair yes of days. Hmm. salty hair oh it is salty <laughs> but yeah she thank you georgia for, for getting me back in shape here what am i doing trying to protect my dry hair <laughs> ridiculous what kind of a beach swim is that <laughs> What a great way to spend an afternoon. So, so good. The best part is, is Santanyi is not far from Palma. Santanyi is surrounded by some of the best beaches in Majorca. For instance, Mondrago, where we were today. It is so close. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump from the city. And coming out after lockdown, it feels so good to be out in the world again and experiencing nature and basically nature. I basically miss nature a lot on lockdown because I love nature. So to be out in nature rocked my little world. Also Santanyi has a lot to offer. It is such a cool little place. So definitely a must stop in Majorca if you feel like going on an adventure. That is the place to go. And yeah, let me know what you're doing on your uh, post lockdown adventures and what you looked most forward to, what you missed the most on lockdown. I definitely want to hear it. And before you go, please do give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the bell to make sure you're notified every time I post a video. We'll see you soon, guys.